Hi right, guys. <clears throat> it is a strange day in paradise. I was just on the, uh, it is Saturday, February 18th, 2023. Uh, I was just met on the phone to Sandy and uh, we were talking about our various ex-husbands in her case and my one dear sweet ex-wife uh, in my case uh, my dear sweet ex-wife Caroline Elizabeth Vance and I have been trying to find this woman on social media for years and I uh, there's no sign of her and the last time uh, last time I saw this woman alive was in uh, I think might have been 2000 maybe uh, last time I saw her alive the last time I tried to see this woman alive was in about uh, probably 2001 or 2002 I was in San Francisco she was the uh, she was a big muckety muck in the crippled children's society and I made it all the way up to her office and the uh, and her secretary blocked me at the door I got as far as her secretary and her secretary uh, looked at me again like someone with horns coming out of his head and she asked me exactly what I wanted and I said could you please ring Ms. Vance and tell her Mr. Mitchell would like to take her to lunch so she she rang up Caroline and uh, said there is a Mr. Mitchell out here who says he would like to take you to lunch. There was a long silence and then in her inimitable uh, sarcastic uh, voice, my dear sweet ex-wife, the last sentence I ever heard out of this woman's mouth was, tell Mr. Mitchell Ms. Vance already has plans for lunch. <laughs> Uh, God, so she did leave me laughing, and I think that was about 2001 in San Francisco. It might have been 2000 or 2002. The years run together. We got married in 1983 and divorced in 1990. And uh, so a couple of years ago, I started trying to find this woman on uh, on all of the various social media platforms which I knew she would be all over could not find any sign of her so I was pretty sure she uh, had uh, bitten the dust and it just never occurred to me to put her name with the word obituary after it so just a few minutes ago Sandy told me how to look up dead ex-spouses. So and there she was. So R.I.P. Caroline Elizabeth Vance uh, born August 12th, 1960 died September 21st, 2015. Good Lord, seven and a half years it took me to uh, learn that I will never hear another sarcastic remark out of that woman's mouth. She was a uh, <laughs> she was a firebrand. This is what she looked like uh, when I met her in uh, yep. We met at Seven Foot Falls in the Chattooga River. If you've ever seen the movie Deliverance where that canoe goes over uh, the falls and the, uh, and 
the guy flips out of the canoe. Well, that's seven foot falls. So we were on a raft trip and the guide was not going to let us take the rafts over. So we had to portage. So we were standing at the top of seven foot falls. And the first word I ever heard out of uh, my dear sweet ex-wife's mouth was she said, which big man here is going to body surf seven foot falls with me? And all of us big strong dudes looked at her like she was crazy. I said, I'll take your challenge, darling. So we went to the edge of seven foot falls in the four foot ten 88 pound daredevil went flying over seven foot falls and so obviously I had committed myself so I followed her down into the uh, down into the churning morass of seven foot falls and we bobbed up on this rock and when we surfaced on the rock uh, Caroline had a uh, blood running down her leg where she had cut her leg on uh, body surfing seven foot falls and I reached down and ran my finger along her bloody leg and I had her blood dripping off my finger and I stuck it in my mouth and drank a few drops of this woman's blood five minutes after we met and uh, there began that uh, tumultuous relationship. Good Lord, I guess it was two years later we got married and seven years after that we got divorced and one year after that we finally stopped having sex. So I guess ten years more or less with this woman, but anyway, it was fun, darling. We did have some laughs. We did have some laughs. Uh, we did have some spilled blood. <laughs> Good fucking God, that woman. Anyway. Rest in peace, darling. So now I need to find my new Doomer chick forever. So uh, I was telling the woman down here at the hotel while she was cleaning up my room, I told her this story about how I you know, had just found out that my ex-wife was dead. And so this woman tells me that she has found a new wife for me Apparently, she said she is young, she is skinny, and she speaks English, and she wants to be my Doomer chick forever. Unfortunately, she has a three-year-old daughter that comes with the package, and I told her, I said, okay, I want to meet her, so maybe I will be marrying a young, slim Mexican woman who speaks English, who comes with a three-year-old daughter. Anyway... I will keep you posted. Bye, guys.